Hi, I'm Crystal Hart from the Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement, and today we're going to look at Kami and the Google Classroom integration. Kami is a product that is pushed out to all teachers and students within RUSD. It allows students to write and annotate on top of any PDF. You can upload any PDF or piece of text and students can annotate the text using highlights, making notes, or post-its. Students can also collaborate on the same document and work together. And students can even create using Kami. There are several features such as highlights, strike through, comment, drawing, math features, shapes. They can import images and they can even sign and use text-to-speech features. When you want to upload a PDF for your students to annotate or create work using Kami, you'll open your Google Classroom and go to the Classwork tab. Click Create and click Kami Assignment. Google Classroom will open up the place for you to make the assignment. When you are using a Kami assignment, you will not have the option to reuse post, so you'll need to create a new post every time you want to do one. You can decide which class you want it to be assigned to, which students, and give it a title. You can also include instructions, just as you would with any other Google Classroom assignment. You can make it worth points or ungraded, assign it a due date, you can schedule it, and then you can also place it underneath a topic. We are going to pull our PDF out of our Google Drive. I'm going to search by PDFs and I'm looking for the keyword math because I want to pull up the first days of math. Once I link that in, Cami will make a copy for each student and click assign. I'm going to show you the assignment from the point of view of a student. The student will go to Classroom, click the Classwork tab, and click on the assignment and view the assignment. Once you open the assignment, you will see that your work is linked over on the far right. Go ahead and click on that PDF, open with Cami, allow Google Drive to access your account, click on the account that you're using, click allow, and then your assignment will open for your students. Now I have all of my features on the far left. Color the 10 sticks with two colors and write equations like the examples. 1 plus 9 equals 10. So as a student, I can click on a color When the student is done, they can click turn in and turn in again. Authorize Google Drive because this is the first time I need to do it again to turn in my work. It's saving my work in my Google Drive. I'm allowing access. Back in my Google Classroom, I can check on the progress of my students' work by clicking on view assignment and I can see that one student has turned in their work. I can click on the assignment and it'll open up the dashboard that Google Classroom uses to grade assignments. I can see the student's work. I can leave comments on specific parts of the work and I can also leave a private comment with the student. This was not for a grade so I don't need to grade it. Just add feedback and then click return. Be sure to follow the Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement on Twitter or Instagram at RUSD underscore ILE and share your distance learning experiences using the hashtags above.